If a woman's hot, guys are less likely to insist on wearing a condom having sex with her. Because, yeah, I don't know, this seems pretty obvious to me, and terribly obvious. But uh, there is a new study in the BMJ Open of 51 heterosexual men between the ages of 19 and 61 saying uh, rank these women in terms of hotness, rank these same women in terms of your likelihood to try to have sex with them if the opportunity arises, and then rank the likelihood that you would insist on wearing protection if it wasn't exactly uh, in the cards. Um, and so it turns out that men said if women are hot, they're less likely to insist on protection, regardless of whether they have been told or perceived that she might be at a higher risk for transmitting STIs, which are sexually transmitted infections. Thoughts, five words or less. I always wear a condom. We're animals. Wear a rubber, dude. Wear a rubber, you know? Wear uh, yeah, so wear a rubber is all I have to say. Uh, this does is this the surprise most you? unshocking study, I think. Why? This, like, okay, so well, why do you guys think this is? Like, why do you think guys are less like? I know people like this. I know people where it's, he's like, oh, this girl, she was so hot. I was like, did you use protection? He goes, ah, no. Yeah. We, we, we all know a it. guy who does this. Yeah. We all know a guy. And he's all got chlamydia. Yeah. They say that all of the STIs in America are rising, specifically mm -hmm. yeah. chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, my three favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because they're treatable with antibiotics. Greek uh, names. Yes, yeah, yeah, syphilis. Oh, this is my daughter, yeah, yeah. syphilis. Yeah. We're from That Greece. is a very Greek name. Could well, be, yeah. If I didn't know any better. I think they come from Greek Scylla, mythology. Charybdis, yeah. syphilis. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, what is, what is wrong with us? I think it's like a biological urge. Like, if you're a man and you see, like, a very attractive mate, like, you want to do everything you can to, like, spread your seed inside of her. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a part of it. Like, I obviously, it. yes. it's not so... And I don't like, always like these, like, biological yeah. uh, arguments because, like, yes, we are animals and we evolved over time, according to my weird science theories, uh, to be what we are today, using intelligence over the kinds of things like a brawn and strength, like, yeah. are reinforced so fervently in the animal kingdom. Yeah. But... So a lot of times it's like, yeah, that was how we evolved, but that was stupid. And the reason we're here is because we're smart. But I think for the guys, even more of like a pride thing and a notch on the bedpost mentality is, wait a minute. So either I have had sex with a hot girl and I get chlamydia or I, I don't have sex with her. Like, oh, of course I'm going to want to have sex with her. She's yeah. hot. And I get to go over there and tell my buddies yeah. that that's what I did. Yeah. What do, you How do, what do you think of the male animal? Well, well I was going to say, I, was like, I don't know if I, if I should ever be asked to sort of comment on... Do it. Why but not? sure, why I not? I talk about a unique perspective. Right, since Belgians I'm here, all the time. This, is what I f this is what kind of threw me off, is that I thought it was way more common for guys to use protection because... I it's just kind of easier. thought that's how it was. But then but I've talked to guys before and they've said, Wow, Danielle's like shaking her head. She's like, No, we have yeah, token straight girl there in the corner. She's like, absolutely not, Grace. So weird. Um, no, but I thought it was way more common for guys to use protection because no, the prevalence of STIs still. and STDs. But then I have talked to guys before and they have let me know, Grace, oh my god, it feels so it does different. Feel really because I'm only gonna say this once. Condoms feel weird. It no, does. it feels so different feels a with lot better. with like a with a, without a condom a con on. Without, yeah. without without a condom. No, it feels they well, say that it feels less good. Well, put your salad fingers on yeah. and try it, and then <laughs> take them and off and try it again. Your fingers are gonna not be happy. I know it's just, but I thought it was way more common. Everyone is it's laughing not, at look, me in the control look, room. Look, who knows I what they're think laughing at? Ever people are more educated about STIs than they ever have been. Yeah. In America, still like sex is sex, and like if you don't have a condom on you and there's sex right there, you're gonna go for you're it. You're gonna go for it, and you're more likely to go for it if yeah. the girl is really attractive because you're yeah. gonna be super aroused. God, I hated right? all of the mornings after because I've done that where it's just like let's just go for it, whatever. Right. I've hated the feeling of every two week period after where it's like that was a mistake and now it's really. Really terrible. Yeah. And the older I get, the older I, you know, have gotten over time, the more it's like, oh, that is just not worth it at all. But yeah. Like, Plus, I think people have this mentality that it's like STIs is something that's going to happen to someone else. It's not going to happen to me. 
Especially Absolutely. If I never, would agree with if that. If you've never had one either. Odds are you have one yeah. right now. The one, odds isn't it like are one in three? That you have uh, either a certain cutoff HPV, also what's the, you know, herpes simplex one. Like you probably have it. It's herpes, Keisha. This ain't a cold sore, Keisha. This is the real thing. Get a match. Get the goddamn match. So yeah. that's how that mentality of ah, I'm never going to get it is what leads to most people in America having it. And just because these ones are treatable with antibiotics, like there's going to be a period, I imagine. There, I've read books where it's like, oh, it hurts to pee a lot. Yeah. Black Boy by Richard Wright. It's a great book. Yeah, he's talking about how, book. I'll never forget it. He's peeing and grabbing yeah. the side of the stall. <sighs> oh. why, why is he doing that? I was that? in high school when I read that and I was like, I never want I that. Because he had gonorrhea. Yeah. So why does he have to grab the side of the stall? Because it hurts so much. Just like, yeah. brace because yourself. Because peeing hurts. hurts so much. Um, but yeah, that's. You should that's, read that book. You yeah, should, you honestly, should. now for like horror stories around the campfire with my lesbian friends, like, this is what we missed. You're more likely to wear a condom now than at any time in your life, probably, right? Because yeah. you're getting older. Mm -hmm. You think? Um, or, you know, you're in a relationship. I don't know what your setup is, yeah. but I still use condoms just because of pregnancy. Well, I would say one night stand you should always, or if it's someone that you don't know where it's going, a condom always. But I understand in a relationship when both people are tested and you know what their history is, it's totally a different yeah. situation. One night, one night stands, though, that's why you should have one in your nightstand. <laughs> Is because if you have one ah. nightstand, you yeah. should always have is one condom the, in your nightstand. That's why they call it that. I was gonna say like that should be the title of your memoir. One nightstand. Yeah. I, I know, but uh, I know when I was a kid and I, you know, 18 and buying condoms mm -hmm. was the most terrifying thing you could imagine. Is going oh, into I know like I a CVS. Uh, Joe, I need a price check on some condoms. <laughs> These three ladies here want a couple of boxes of the King George prophylactics. Um, this is what very was your condom story? My condom? Oh, I know my condom Do it. story. Get in there. Get I in used there. to keep condoms in my makeup kit like three or four years ago. Why? Did you think they were balloons? I don't know why. It's kind of cool. Were, they were being handed out at a party oh, that yeah, I went yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a big ball at like, a, at like a sex positive party. And I used to keep them in like my makeup like cover. I, back in the day, I used to wear a lot more makeup. And I if remember. you're ever bored online, you can probably find these embarrassing pictures of me. But in any case, I used to keep these condoms in my makeup kit. And not for me, but for, obviously not for me, but like for... Friends? I don't know what I thought I was doing it's with them. It's great to have one. But I kept oh, them. Oh, take this. No, I had like five, and I kept them there for years. And then one time my mom was going through my makeup kit, and she was like, I'm I'm so sorry to ask about this. And I was like, yeah, it's just for my friends. And my mom was like, all right. And then I realized that's weird. Like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. In my makeup kit? I'm not going like to bring that with me when I go out. It's yeah. like, is my friend bringing a boy back to have sex on my bed with him, and I want to be there and hand her a condom? No, then I shouldn't have Condoms in my makeup bag. That no. was weird, and they were flavored too. The worst part. One was banana. Banana. Ew. Ew. That's the thing. I don't get. <laughs> no. I tell it. you, it was weird. Uh, it's weird. It's terrible because it's for a friend is like the worst excuse anyway. Like whenever <laughs> someone says it's for a friend, they're lying to you. It was actually like for my friends in this like unknown situation. Oh, I, yeah. I, I always like thought. The taste. I, I love safety. That's what it is. Yeah, I love you love safety. the taste. Yeah. I just like banana. <laughs> and it's if I'm out and it's, it chews I like bubble gum. I come out of the gum. bathroom and I'm like, oh, what's the difference? Oh god, that's um, so gross. No, the, my condom stories were like at the the first time. You're so ner early times in having sex. You're so nervous about the process of like yeah. at any point, oh, she's surely gonna say, we're stopping, get out. The, you're, it's you, I've noticed, I've realized it's you and I should, I don't wanna have sex with you because you're you. <laughs> get out of here, idiot. Definitely true? the fear that I it's had. It's just the fear like, you have. You're like, like oh my God, this is happening, stupid. but at any moment this could just stop. Yeah, I mean, I pray like, really hard for You have for dreams this. like of leading up to like the point where you first have sex where like they, you never have the whole sex dream. Like it always ends, and you're like, "No, why did it end?" Yeah, exactly. Because you don't know, you don't have the the experience to be able to dream it. That's so exactly. sad. Exactly. So. Yeah. So you guys were both just like at any point. Well, you're like just us. I think this is like every guy. This like, is pretty standard. Yeah. Um, and then I remember the first time I didn't use one, and it was like, Brett oh, but it was like, but I and I was terrified. I was like, "Oh, she's pregnant, and I have AIDS." That's how it happens. You That's just exactly. Stick it in it. And it's just he's like, "No, God." Oh, and it was like jumping into an ocean. Well, I don't then, know, something like refreshing and awesome. Um, uh, yeah, you go find that out. Yeah, you did. And then you, you didn't. But right. 
But then you realize, like in the early days, it's better to use a condom because then the reduction in feel actually helps yes. your ability to proceed with the process yeah. for a longer period of time. Make it enjoyable for both parties. And so that's just it. That's just, you notice, guys, that's a little secret tip is you're respected more because you care, but you could also, if you're 18 yeah. years old and just like a, 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 a nice breeze will set you off. <laughs> Nice like, break. this is a great way to put on a windbreaker. Yeah. You know what I Think mean? Think of it as a windbreaker. Oh, um, my God. I think if you have any questions about sex, uh, Grace will answer them. <laughs> Salad Fingers Grace over here will answer it. Yeah. Uh, give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Answer the questions in this poll uh, that we're talking about. Would you boys have sex unprotected? Would that be more likely if the girl's hot? And ladies, vice versa. Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trip.